I want you to imagine a side hustle that has the potential to generate you over $1,000 every single day in passive income. A lot more than $1,000 a day in passive income. And in this video, that's exactly what I'm going to show you alongside with examples of real life people doing it. And I'm gonna show you step by step how you can do this yourself. So from now on, what I want you to do is click exactly where I click, do exactly what I do. And by the end of this video, you're gonna be ready to start making money. So what I actually want to show you first is people that are doing this method very successfully, okay? So I found this blog here with people that are actually getting paid, real life examples of people that are actually getting paid using the exact method you're about to learn in this video. So here on this blog, Holly Johnson is number one and it only goes up from here. I'm not gonna cover all 20 of them, but the number 20 on this list is making over a million dollars every single month using the method that you're about to learn. But if you go way down on this list, the first person here is making $22,000 every single month, which is quite impressive as it says here on the blog. Uh, number two, Lara Vitale is making $30,000 every single month. Number three is making $40,000 every single month. Abby Lawson is making $41,000 every month and Ryan Robinson is making 50 grand a month, right? Using this exact method, there are people making up to $1 million every single month. This method is probably the oldest one in a book. And a lot of people think that this method is dead, but I'm gonna show you how wrong these people are and I'm gonna show you a different way that you can actually bring this method to life today. So let's get started with step number one. And to complete step number one, there are two ways that you can do it. And let me just tell you that you can also do this method from a phone since we're gonna be using AI to do most of the work for us. For step number one, we need to get a mini website. And don't freak out when I say mini website because I'm gonna show you how easy it is. It's just copy and paste, check this out. There are two websites that give you free done for you websites. And if you've been watching my videos, you probably already know about them. One of them is Medium, which gives you a completely free website. All you have to do is just copy and paste. And the number two is Google Sites. Google Sites also gives you a free website. So to access these two websites, just search for them on Google. If you're going for Google Sites, just type in Google Sites in Google and then click the first website. And if you're going for a medium, type in medium like this. And then when you, the website pops up, just click on the first one that pops up, okay? Going for Google Sites, just click here, start a new site. This is kind of like using Google Docs. If you've ever used Google Docs before, just click on start a new site. And as you can see, there's already a done for you website. All you need to do is just write stuff on the screen. And it's not even going to be you writing the stuff on the screen, it's going to be AI. So that's why you can do this using a phone. And if you're going for Medium, go, to, go back to Medium and click on Get Started. It's going to ask you to create an account and sign in. If you already have an account, just go ahead and sign in. If you don't, just click here, sign up with your email. They're going to ask you for your email, a password, your name, and that's it, you're in. So since I already have an account, I'm just gonna go back and then I'm gonna sign in. Sign in with my email. All right, so now that you have your account on Medium or if you're using Google Sites, you don't even need an account. I think you need a Google account, but that's basically it. And once you're in these pages, now we need to find a trending topic so we can post about it either on Medium or on Google Sites, it doesn't really matter. And to be able to find these trending topics, I like to go to three places. One of these three places is Google Trends. To find Google Trends, just head over to google.com and type in Google Trends on the Google search bar. To find Apple News, which is the second website, type in Apple News on the Google search bar. And to find the third website, Google News, you can just type in Google News in a search bar. All these three websites will give you good stuff to talk about that are actually trending right now, since all of them get updated at least once every couple of hours. So I'm actually gonna go to all three of them so I can show you how to use them. So click on Google Trends or Apple News or Google News, whichever one you want to use. If you're using Google Trends, click here on trending now on the top of the page and you should see the most trending and searched topics on Google right now. You can see this one has 200,000 searches just today, just Friday, August 11. This one here has 200,000 searches, which is a lot of searches. And if you scroll down yesterday, Taylor Swift had 500,000 Seahawks, 200 Patriots, 200. So all of these topics are still being very, very, very much talked about. So you don't have to worry. They're still trending. So if you're using Google Trends, you can just pick one of these topics that you think would be the best for your blog or your post and write the topic down. So let's say I chose Premier League. 
just copy Premier League and write it down somewhere. If you want a place to write down your topic, just go to docs.google.com. All of these links will be in a text file down below in the description for you. Let's say that you wanted to use Apple News. I've just realized that Apple News actually requires a payment. So you can get one month for free, but you don't have to use Apple News. So let's just skip this one. So you have two methods, Google Trends and Google News, which is more than what you need. If you're using Google News, just go to the homepage of the website and you want to click on any of these topics here on the top. Usually what I personally like to do is just choose technology. That's the one that I like the most, but you can also choose entertainment, which is a huge topic. I'm just going to choose technology. Once you do that, you're going to notice that these blogs, these news, not blogs, these news have been posted 21 hours ago, seven hours ago, eight hours ago, nine hours ago. They're what you would call a breaking news, right? So these are all trending topics that you can use. Just choose one like you did on Google Trends. And once you have that, just write it down in something like a Google Doc. And for the next step, if you want to see more content like this on how you can make money online very easily and creatively, go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the future videos. Okay, so the topic that I chose is Premier League. So to complete the next part in this video, you have two ways that you can do that. Again, one of those ways is by using AnyWord, which is an AI that writes blogs for you. And the second one is by using ChatGPT. The thing with AnyWord is that AnyWord is kind of better to write these blog posts because it is made specifically to do that. And ChatGPT can get a little complicated when you're trying to write blogs, unless you have a Google Chrome extension that I'm going to show you in a minute. So let me go ahead and walk you through both of them. So like I mentioned, the first website that you can use is called AnyWord, AnyWord.com spells like this, AnyWord, just type it on Google, hit enter. And most of the time it's going to be the first one that's going to pop up and you can just click on that. Don't worry. This one is also completely free. And once you hit the home page, what I want you to do here is click here, start for free and create a completely free account. As you can see, when I click start for free, it actually just logged me in into my account. So basically what you're going to need is just a password, a username. And once you're in the website, what you want to do is go here on the left side and you want to click on blog wizard. After you've done that, just click here, blog post from scratch. Now, once you click on blog post from scratch, this is what you're going to see. So what is the blog post about? Remember that we got the topic in Google Trends or Google News. Let's go ahead and grab that topic again. So I'm going to grab the topic Premier League. I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to post it here on the website, right? Now, who is your target audience? I would just leave this for a broad audience. So this means that AI will make it so 80 year old and an eight year old will understand it will appeal to a lot of people. And this is exactly what you want. OK, so let's make it appeal to a broad audience and tone of voice. You can choose engaging and uh, that's exactly what they recommend as well. SEO keywords. This is optional. If you want your blog to have any type of SEO keywords, this could help your article rank better on Google and, you know, make people find it better. But you don't actually need this because the method that we're going to be using to generate traffic is completely different. So you can just go ahead and leave this SEO keywords blank. So I tried to click here on the next step and the AI is asking me for at least five words. So in this instance, what you can do is you can go back to Google Trends. If you went to Google Trends and it's going to show you related queries and you can also copy these ones here and paste it into that. And it will also make a blog post related to one of these search terms. OK, so that's what I'm going to do right now. OK, so I think this should be enough. I'm just going to go scroll down now and click next. Just saw I didn't add any keywords. It's not relevant for what we're going to be doing. And a blog title, I would just choose the top one because the top one is usually the most optimized title for our blog. So it it's always usually the best. So I'm just going to choose the first one and click next. Now, the outline is how your blog post is going to be outlined. OK, so intro, section two, section three, section four, five, six and seven. And you can see here it's already generated the topic of what you're trying to create. So Manchester City uh, versus Burnley, uh, the game highlights, tactical analysis, player performances. This is pretty good. So you don't have to mess around with this. Just click next. Generate an entire blog, start with a blank page. So I think that a 1500 word blog 
it's more than enough. I think it's more than enough for what we're doing. So you want to click next and it should be right in your blog and it should be ready for you in just a second. Now, while it's doing that, oh, it's already finished. So once your blog is finished, what you can do if you want to make it longer, you can just click in this part here. For example, you can click here. As you can see, there's an option here saying continue writing. If I click here on continue writing, it's going to uh, expand on this topic right here. So as you remember before, it separated our blog post in several categories, in several sections, right? So every single section you can expand on them individually by clicking here on continue writing i don't think this is necessary for this blog post that we're making because there's not much more to say to a football match than what it's already saying i looked at the outline and it seems pretty good to me so i'm not going to expand on what is already good okay it's just going to make it too long too boring and might get people turned off so if you're happy with your article just go here on the top right corner and click on copy the clipboard this is going to copy the entire blog post to the clipboard. It's that easy. It's done. You didn't have to pay anything. You didn't have to do anything. You didn't have, you just copied and pasted. Now I'm going to do exactly what I told you to do. I'm also going to do that, which is save my article in a Google doc so I don't lose it. And now let me show you how to use chat GPT with a very creative solution. So you don't have to keep doing all of the steps manually, because if you don't have this exact Chrome extension that I'm going to show you now, chat GPT could get very complicated. And I just want to walk you through it so you don't make any mistakes. So let go to chat GPT. Once you're here on the chat GPT homepage, actually, before we go to chat GPT, go to google.com and search for web web chat GPT extension. I want you to search for this on the Google search, hit enter. You should see this web chat GPT Chrome extension as a first site that pops up. I want you to click on this and you're going to install web chat GPT. This Chrome extension is going to do two things for your chat GPT website. It's going to connect it to the internet. So you're going to be able to get relevant information from the web. And it's also going to give you a function called one click prompt. This one click prompt is beautifully made and it's going to give you so much more features. So once you've installed it, let's go back to chat GPT. Now I had someone ask me on my prior video if I had these options here in the bottom because I pay for ChatGPT. And the answer is no. I do pay for ChatGPT, but the answer is no. It's the exact Chrome extension that I just showed you that lets me have these features. And look what happens when I click on one click prompts. This is exactly what you're going to see when you activate one click prompts. And if I activate web access, then I can do Google searches and it's going to organize the information for me. It's, it's so, so good and it saves me so much time. I highly recommend. And if you want to use the one click prompts, just click here, one click prompt, and you're going to have all of these features and you have 154 pages that you can click here and have more stuff that you can do with it. Right? So I'm just going to go back and what I'm actually looking for is the first one SEO optimized article with a hundred percent unique human written style. I want this because I want to write a blog. If you don't have this option, trust me, mate, it's going to be very complicated for you to create an article. Uh, just choose the language that you want to make it into. And in this case, it's going to be English for me. And if you're doing what I'm doing, if you're following me on this video, it's also going to be English for you. Okay. So the tone I'm going to try persuasive, which is the exact one that we did on our previous one. Let me see if they have it. So they don't have persuasive. So what I'm going to choose instead is confident. I want a confident speech in my article, right? So I'm just going to choose the writing style and I'm going to choose creative. Now, what you're going to do here is just type in the topic of your article here. So I'm going to go back to Google Trends, Premier League in here. You won't need anything. Just the topic is going to be enough. OK, so just type it in here and then you want to click here, run this prompt. Now, as you can see, the one click prompt already gives ChatGPT the perfect prompt for you. So it generates a very human like article. So ChatGPT generated the outline for our article, which is this one. As you can see, it also generated 15 parts for our article, which is a lot bigger than the one that we did using any word. And, and as you can see, it didn't actually generate as big of, of an article as the other one did. So what I'm going to ask is, can you make it 1,500 words. Can you make it 1,500 words? 
So what it's doing right now, it's giving me a conclusion and FAQs. I want ChatGPT to remove these FAQs. I don't want them. So I'm going to ask it to remove the FAQs and expand on the topic. Okay, so that's what it's going to be doing right now. Okay, so once you have the topic, just copy the entire article and let's go and paste it into our Google Doc. Just make sure we know which one is which. Okay, now comes the fun part. Now you're going to post this to the platform. So I'm going to post one on one platform and the other one on the other. So I'm going to use the any word on Medium and I'm going to use the ChatGPT article on Google Sites. So let's go back to our Medium page. Remember that we register for a free account. Just go here and click on write. Now you want to paste in your article. So what I'm going to do here is paste in the article that we created using any word. All right. So if you're following me, you should have this by now. All right. Just, just copy and paste. Okay. As you can see, it looks very, very organized, very, very clean on medium. So I kind of highly recommend that you use medium instead of Google sites. It's easier to use. It's less setting up and it's, you know, it just looks beautiful. So what I'm going to do now is just remove this intro. I'm not going to include this in my article, remove that. And I'm going to put this part here on the title of the article. All right. So it looks like that. All right. So we now have a title and a beautiful article. It's not yet finished. I'm going to come back to this article first, but first I want to show you how to do this on Google sites. So let's go back. Let's grab our second article made using chat GPT, copy it and let's go to Google sites and you don't want to paste it in the title. Just click here and add a text box to the article. And then we're going to paste our article here. Okay. So as you can see, we have a title, we have a part one. Let's remove this content continues and we have a part two and part three. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break these three parts because we're going to do something interesting. So let me just get this title and I'm going to put it over here. Okay. So I copied and pasted the title right here and it should look something like this. Let's try to make it smaller. As you can see, there's already more tweaking that we have to do on Google sites. So it's quite a bit harder, but it's also free and, you know, good to use. So you can use both. Some people prefer Google sites some people prefer medium. So I'm just giving you all the options. I'm going to make the text a little bit smaller, 24. No, I'm going to make it larger like this. Make it 48. 36. Oh yes. So this looks better. Okay. Now I'm just going to copy this second part evolution information, paste it here, make another text box, copy the third part conclusion, paste it here. The premier league text box, paste it down here. All right. Just paste it here. So now we have a few sections and they're all separated and organized. Now, there are a lot of things that you can do to this Google sites page. You can use different colors. You can add links. You can change the font. You can add background images. You can do whatever you want to this. This is just an example of what you can and can't do with medium. You're kind of locked in with their standard look. Uh, it's kind of standard. You can't really change. It's going to be black and white. And I think, you know, viewers that read medium blogs, they actually expect and like this style of color. Okay. So now we have all of this set up, but how are you actually going to make any money from this? To do that, we're actually going to be using CPA, which is cost per action. And the website that we're going to be using is CPA lead, CPA lead. Just go to google.com, type in CPA space lead and hit enter. This is the website that you're looking for. If you don't have the link, just check down in the description of this video for the link to this website, CPA lead app install network. Once you're here on the homepage, this is the website. Just click here on sign up at the top right corner. 
There are two ways you can sign up to this website. You can do a one click sign up and sign up using your Google account, or you can sign up using your email and a password. As you can see here, you don't need a Skype name. It's completely optional. I do not use Skype and I don't have a Skype name, so you don't need one either. Just put in your name, last name, email address and a password and click submit information. Once you register for a free account using your email, they're going to show you the terms and conditions and you can read it if you want. I've already read this in the past and it's huge. I'm not going to read it again because I already know what I'm getting into. I'm just going to click approve and I'm going to click submit. If you agree with the terms and conditions, of course, you can click agree and then you can click submit. Now, congratulations, your account is immediately activated and available for use. Go to your dashboard. Okay, so what you're going to see here in this page is the interesting. This is what you've been waiting for. This is how you're going to get paid. All of these offers here are cost per action offers. And every single time that you perform that someone leaves their email or does a specific action using one of these offers, you are going to get paid this amount of money shown here on the side. OK, so I'm going to sort these offers by payout so we can see the highest paying offers, the lowest paying offers, all that good stuff. So I'm going to sort them from highest to lowest. This is exactly what I did right now. And you can see here the countries that can perform the action. So as I showed in my last video, I think it's about a year ago when I last used this website. The reason why I was able to make $2,500 in one day and cash it out in the same day is because the offer that I was promoting had a fast pay. And I highly recommend that if you want to get paid fast, that you choose an offer that has this option here, fast pay. OK, so I'm going to look for an offer and you don't have to choose the highest paying offers because everybody is going to go for these offers. Don't choose the highest paying offers. They're really hard to promote. And the action that people have to take is usually something very, very difficult. OK, so I'm just going to choose a lower paying offer. And with a certain amount of traffic, we can actually make a lot of money doing it. OK, so I think I'm going to go with this slim and energized because it's to promote to the US. It's a high paying one and if I click on it, you can see here that you need to get people to complete a survey that takes from two to four minutes and they must complete the entire survey. And I think this one is pretty good for us to promote. OK, the payout is really nice. Five dollars, seventy four cents. If we get a few people to sign up to this, we can already make one hundred dollars, two hundred, three hundred dollars. So, yeah, it's a no brainer. I'm just going to copy here my affiliate link. I'm going to go to my Google Docs and I'm going to save it. OK, so this is the product that I'm going to be promoting. Now, for you to be able to receive your payments, you need to register your payment details with CPA lead. You're going to use the blog post with the free websites to be able to generate sales. But the sales, the money that you're going to be receiving are actually going to come from CPA lead. So it's paramount that you come here on payments and then you register yourself to get paid and they accept the following payment methods. If you click here on payments on the left side and then you click here payment settings, you're going to see that they accept PayPal, Payoneer, check by mail and ACH. They're saying here that the ACH is bank. This means bank transfers for you guys that don't live in America and bank transfers. They already accept from different places in the world. It says here USA only, but it actually works all over the, the world. If you live in a place where you can get an IBAN and a SWIFT code, then you can receive payments on your bank through their website. OK, so this is what's going to happen. People are going to read your article. They're going to click on the action. They're going to perform like, let's say that they do the survey, right? When they finish the survey, this website here, CPA lead is going to generate you the amount that they're promising as a payout. So every single time someone does it, let's say it's $5.74, like my offer here right now. Every single time one person does it, I'm going to receive $5.74 from CPA lead. It's going to show here on my current balance. Okay. So CPA lead is going to deposit that either into my PayPal, Payoneer, Check by Mail, or ASH, ACH, USA, right? So that's how the payment happens. Before you promote that link, what I want you to do is come here to bit.ly.com. So go to google.com and then you want to search for bit.ly. Okay, once you search for bit.ly, click on the first link. Bit.ly is not paid. It is a completely free tool. You can use up to 10,000 links per month. OK, so you don't have to pay a penny to use Bitly. It is completely free for anyone to use. Once you're on Bitly, just click here on create new link and then you want to get your affiliate link. Let's just copy that affiliate link because no one is going to click on this link. It looks spammy. It looks like some type of virus. I don't know, but people are not going to click if you leave the link like this. So just copy the link, 
go to bit.ly, paste it here, and then you want to customize it with some type of text. So to be able to customize it, let me go back and see what people actually need to do. Okay, so my product slim and energized is for people to lose weight. So I'm just going to do something related to that on my link. So it's going to be, let's try this one, slim and energized fast. Let's try to create that. Okay, so it doesn't work. I'm just going to remove the symbol slim energized fast. It actually worked there. It's available. I'm going to use this link here. Just copy. I'm going to paste it here in my links. So this is now my affiliate link. Okay, so I'm not going to use that horrible big link. This one here, people can actually read and make sense of what is written on the link and they can actually get interested to click and do the action. All right, so this is what I'm going to go with. Now, the way that you're going to implement this on your blog, let's go back to the medium and let's implement this on our blog several times. It's going to be kind of like an ad. Okay, so in my article, I'm speaking about football. So I'm just going to read the first part. I'm probably going to add it somewhere around here. So the ad that I think is going to be a good fit is if you want to lose weight quickly, click here to fill out a completely free survey so we can help you at no extra cost. So they're going to complete their survey. When they click on the link, they know, they know what to expect. They're, they know what's going to happen to them. And that's exactly what they're going to get. So I'm just going to go ahead, copy my link, copy the entire link. Just make sure it's copy. Now let's go back to medium. And I'm going to highlight this text like this. Just highlight with your mouse. And then you want to click here on this link sign. And then you want to paste the link in here. Once you do this, this is automatically going to be clickable. So while they're reading this, if they want to click to lose weight, they're going to click on your link and then they will go to your offer. Okay, so I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to paste it in another place on this article right here as well. And I'm also going to paste it towards the end. So in three places, I think this is enough. More than this is going to be kind of unpleasant to read. So I'm just going to go and do that to the Google Sites as well. And here on Google Sites, we do kind of differently. Just click here on text box, add a new text box, and I'm going to put it right here in the middle of the article. Since it's so small compared to the other one, I'm just going to paste it once. Okay. And it's already highlighted with the link. So as you can see here, if people can click, it's already clickable. Everything is already working. So now on the Google Sites, let's name this website. Uh, what is it called again? Slim and Energize. So I'm just going to copy the name of the product and I'm going to name my article after the name of this product, Slim and Energize. Okay, enter the site name, Slim and Energize. Now to make this page live, all you need to do is just click here on publish, web address, Slim Energize. Okay, publish. Now you have a completely live on the web website working. So just click here on this little dot facing down and you want to view publish site. This is so you want to view what your site is looking like. So when people click on your blog, this is exactly what they're going to see on Google sites. And if they want to click, they can click on your offer here, conclusion, everything. And if you go to medium, the way that you publish the article is here on the top. So as you can see here, publish, click on that. Now add a topic. I'm just going to go back to the Google trends, copy premier league, and I'm going to go back to medium add my topic, publish now. And now we have a completely published article on Medium. Your story is published. This story isn't currently eligible to make money. To make the story eligible, join the Medium Partner Program. To be able to do this, you're going to earn per views, which doesn't really make a difference. It's like $3, $5 per 1000 views. But if you want, you can also do that. Your Medium article is now published to the web and it's going to be generating sales every single time someone does an action. The good thing about CPA is that people don't have to spend money first for you to earn money. So the companies actually want to get people's information. They want to get information on their products and they pay a premium for companies like CPA League to get people like you to generate traffic to those leads and be able to generate the information they want and they pay you to be able to do that. 
It's a bit complicated the way that it works, but as you can see, if you follow the step-by-step -step I laid out on this video, you should be really ready to go and start making some money right now. And besides the way that I'm going to show you right now on how you can generate traffic to these offers, generate people to these offers, so you can generate money from these offers, I highly recommend that if you want to make some type of online business that you check out Pro University. In Pro University, you are going to learn exactly how to generate millions of views of traffic in several different ways that can help you monetize not just your social media, Media, but any offer, especially if you're doing something like CPA. So if you want to become our next success case, go ahead and check out YouTuber Pro down in the description of this video. I'll see you inside. Now, since a lot of you told me in the past video that you don't have social media to be able to promote and generate traffic to these offers, then I'm going to show you two ways that you can do that today. The first way is you're going to head over to a Facebook account, which I think most people should have, right? I'm hoping that you have a Facebook account. Go to your Facebook, go to facebook.com. Now, once you're in Facebook, I want you to click on groups here on the left side and I want you to type in the style, the thing that you're talking about. So in my case, I'm talking about in Google Trends about the Premier League, which is football. So I want you, I'm typing in football. Okay, so I'm going to join Facebook groups that have to do with football. Why are we going to do this? If you look closely, these Facebook groups have 108,000 people. This one has 30,000 people. This one, 23. This one, 17. This one, 50. This one, 92. If you only join these groups here, you have a very high chance of getting people to read your article because it is completely free. They don't have to pay just to read the article. This is something that these people are interested in. And while they're reading the article, it is very, very probable that there might be someone reading that wants to lose weight. 11 out of 10 people want to lose weight. So if you post this in this football group, just join the football groups and you want to make a post with your article. Okay. Once you do that, you're going to get traffic to your article and people are going to just do the survey because they want to get help in losing weight. This is how it works. The second method that you're going to be generating traffic is by posting YouTube shorts, Instagram reels and TikToks. Now, I want to clarify this here. Don't think that because you don't have a social account or that you have to promote my products on these shorts, you don't have to do that. The shorts are completely random. They don't have to be about my product. When you see me doing this on my videos, I promote my product because that's what I sell. But you can you can literally do any type of short. You can promote anything that you want. It doesn't have to be my product. The biggest reason I promote my products is because I want to make sales. While I'm doing a video, I want to show you how I would make sales. And I want to inspire you and show you how you can do it yourself. I have an affiliate program that I give you a lots of shorts, videos that you can post that can go viral videos that have gone viral in the past that you can just download and repost. And if you want that, I'm going to leave that in the link down below in the description inside the document, the text file document. So don't think that you can only use my shorts to promote my products that has nothing to do with it. If you're thinking that you're completely wrong, you can literally download my shorts and promote anything that you want. You can generate, use them to generate traffic to any offer that you want to sell. Now that we have that out of the way, if you want to learn how you can post those shorts and be able to promote anything, generate millions of views, check out the video at the end of this one. I'll see you there. Work hard, play harder.